गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू ऑल कंप्यूटर क्लासेज स्टूडेंट्स एज यू नो दैट वी वर स्टार्टिंग माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एक्सेल द टॉपिक दैट वी वर कवरिंग वॉज चार्ट राइट सो फर्स्ट फाइव चार्ट हैव बिन ऑलरेडी कवर्ड इन पार्ट थ्री यू कैन रेफर दैट एंड टूडे टूडे वी विल बी स्टार्टिंग अबाउट थ्री चार्ट दैट इज पाई चार्ट डोनट चार्ट रेडार चार्ट राइट सो लेट्स बिगिन विद द पाई चार्ट so this chart displays the data in the form of circle right when you draw a circle that circle is divided into series of segments right and that segment is representing something right so each sector denotes a proportionate part of the whole to find out the composition of something pie charts works the best at that time right so we will understand this with an example let's see an example we have a class and in that class we have 40 students now the entire class is represented by the 40 students if we talk about the interest of these students in various sports so we can consider this chart in football 10 students are interested in hockey 5 cricket 5 basketball 10 and badminton so this whole class is com comprising of these different types of sports students right so when we are when we put this uh, data in a chart in a pie chart how it will look it will look like this now we can see and start the chart this blue is representing the football so 10 students in football 10 students in badminton 10 students in basketball 5 in cricket and 5 in hockey right so let's learn how we can create the pie chart students you can see we have this table here right now let's create pie chart of this table for that we will select the table the next step is click on insert go to the charts and here we have pie chart right so let's choose the simple chart 2d chart 2d pie chart and click on it you can have a chart on your screen now here by default when we click on the picture we get this three tabs in the design tabs we have charts layout so whatever kind of layout you like you can choose out of these right so this is how we can create a pie chart right so if you want to see how we can create 3d pie chart let's delete for now go to insert tab click on pie chart and click on 3d pie chart so this is how it will look three dimensional pie chart so from here from the chart styles you can choose the various chart styles right so i hope you are clear with the pie chart the next is donut chart you might have eaten donuts so many times yes it looks somewhat like that but not exactly so it displays data as a section of a circle so we draw various circles and the section of the circles represent the various data it can have more than one data series like in the previous example if you remember we had only one data series right but in the in the donut chart we can have more than one data series right so this is the this is what makes the donut chart different from the pie chart right now let's see an example here we have two data series we have various companies and these are the number of handsets sold of the different companies in the month of january and in the month of february right now if we want to put this in a donut chart how it will look it will look like this right so the inner circle is representing the january month outer is february and so on right now you can see this blue section is representing the samsung in the february month the more number of samsung handset were sold right and like this we can study the chart now let's learn how to create it now you can see we have a chart in front of us for that we will select the chart and go to the insert and here we have other charts 
let's click on this and we have do not chart so just click over it we will get the chart in front of us now for changing the layout you just have to click here and you can have the various layouts so whichever layout you are comfortable with you can choose that right for changing its style you can click on the chart styles which are present here right so it's very very simple to create donut chart right now let's move back and learn about radar chart radar chart in excel is also known as spider chart web chart irregular polygon or polar chart in excel right the axis starts on the same point on a in a radar chart right now all the dimensions number of dimension that we will be using all dimensions will have the same starting point right it is used to demonstrate data in two dimensional or for two or more than two data series so we can have more number of data series in this right so let's understand the radar chart with the, with the help of an example so you see we have two employees here Ryan and Ankur so these are the different variables on the basis of which they have got the marks right now how many dimensions we will be having in a radar chart that we can understand with the number of variables here 1 2 3 4 5 6 so we will be comparing these two candidates on this basis of these six variables right now how it will look when we put this data in a chart in the radar chart so it is like this now let's understand this chart all the six variables are having the common starting point at zero right so one is in between this zero and two three is in between this two and four and so on right now the least marks is given to Ankur on the basis of punctuality and the highest marks Ryan has got in the punctuality now if we see the punctuality axis now Ankur has got the three marks so it is represented here and Ryan has got the highest marks in punctuality and it is represented on the line which is indicating the 10 means the highest marks now if you talk about the punctuality these two candidates can be compared on the single axis you can see which is closer to zero is less and which is away from zero has got the more marks right now we can compare the two candidates on this charts right you see problem solving skills on the problem solving skills both have got the same marks 8 now you see this is the problem solving axis both have got the 8 marks so it is represented on the same point right now if you study any axis you can compare the two candidates and tell who is ahead than other in particular skill or particular uh, variable right so this is how we study the radar chart now let's see how we can create the radar chart now you see we have the same data here let's select the chart go to the insert tab click here in other charts and here we have radar chart right so just by clicking on it we can have the chart on our screen so that's all about charts that is pie chart donut chart and radar chart students tomorrow in the next class we will study about the rest of the three charts right till then take care goodbye and god bless you all